Check out the DVD vending machine. The button that you press dispenses a DVD. Create a map for this relation. Does the data represent a function? So your input here is what button you press, and the output is your possible DVD. So the buttons you can press are A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. Now, what are your possible outputs, the DVDs? Gone with the breeze, the godmother, star battles. You also could get sold out. Wizard of Gauze. Finding Dreamo. Or Raiders of the Mossed Bark. I'm just going to call that Raiders for short. So let's make a mapping. A1 maps to Gone with the Breeze. A2 maps with the godmother a3 maps to star battles b1 maps to sold out b2 maps to wizard of gauze b3 also only maps to wizard of gauze c1 is finding dreamo and C2 and C3 both map to Raiders of Mossed Bark. So we can see every single input only has one arrow to one output. So this is a function because each input maps to one output. So now we need to look at part B. Suppose each DVD costs $1 to rent. Create a map for this relation. Does the data represent a function? So your input is how much money you can pay, and that's only $1. Right? It's the only amount you can pay. Your output is all of these same DVDs, right? So now let's see. You can input your dollar and get Gone with the Breeze. You could input your dollar and get Godmother. You could input your dollar and get Star Battles. You could input your dollar, dollar and get sold out, hopefully not. Input and get Wizard of Gauze. Input and get Finding Dreamo. Or input and get Raiders of the Mossed Bark. So this relation is not a function because $1 maps to more than one DVD. So we can relate relations and functions to many real life examples.